Hey everyone, it's been a while, so I'm going to try to get back into it with a quick video on a little welding project. This is the original welding tank that I had, and it was empty a while ago, so that kind of put a halt on things. I just got this tank, which is quite a bit bigger, which will allow for a lot more welding. Uh, and I got it off Amazon, I'll link it in the description. It was actually, I think, cheaper for this size tank with the tank than it was for... Uh, or this size tank of gas, including the tank, as it was for this size tank of gas, also including the tank. So this was a pretty good buy. It has good reviews. I'm going to try it right now. Uh, so I'm going to hook it up to here. That said, basically when I hook this up, I'm going to be welding some more of these D-rings onto my trailer. If you remember the video where I put these two on the back, uh, I put those on there because I kind of lined them up with the front and... I thought they would be a good spot. Uh, in practice, they're only an okay spot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld some more of these in the corners here. So they're still out of the way of driving on and off the trailer, but they provide uh, just a good mounting point that's kind of out of the way and uh, easily accessible with the ratchet straps. Part of the problem with these is they were usually they are usually tucked so far under the car that it's uh, just a pain to use the ratchet straps and even more of a pain to uh, release the ratchet straps so i got um i can link these in the description too i got an eight pack i'm probably only going to use four of them i'm going to put two on the back corners here and then two on the front corners up front but first let me hook up this tank to the welder I think that looks pretty good. Now to do the other side. This was okay. I don't think it's great here and here. Or over here. Maybe I'll run a second pass over it. But I will say that the gas works great. Uh, so check out the link below if you need welding gas because I think for the money that's hard to beat. Uh, now I'm going to run over this a second time real quick and then put one on this corner.
think it turned out pretty good. It'll hold, I'm sure. And I'll monitor it for any kind of failure or weakness, but a lot of people said that these were gonna have problems, uh, especially because I didn't quite wrap up the edge here. Uh, that's where it was gonna crack and um, I didn't weld a plate down first. I just welded it straight to the, uh, the diamond plate here, but these are showing no signs of failure that I can see. I think if anything, the paint is cracked, but yeah, these are holding quite nicely. So now the back is done. Uh, I need to rearrange the trailer a little bit. So my wires are long enough to reach the front. And then I'm going to put two more of these on the front in pretty much the same spots. work a little bit of self clearancing but this engine already self clearanced a little bit so we're good to go um, might be a little bit hard to get all the way in there but I'm gonna try because I think that would be ideal same on this side in other news that winch that I uh, had bought and set up and I'll put the video link in the pop-up here uh, that one blew up on me so I got this one as a replacement but that said I'm still using the remote for the other one um, to run this one so that still works nicely and then the company was excellent I sent them a message and they sent me another one um, kind of you know no quest questions asked uh, it fit within the warranty. So uh, what happened was one of these, I think it was on this side, uh, this spindle has the gear built into it and this whole side of it just kind of exploded. So the motor still worked, it would still turn one way or the other, it just wouldn't engage. So uh, I don't mind the mount, I just haven't had welding gas so I haven't really done that and uh, yeah. I'm sure you're going to make fun of me in the comments for that anyway. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to give an update on that uh, as well. I can just barely not reach. So I'm going to have to move the welder to a different spot. Luckily, I think there's a plug over on this side. But, at the very least, this side is done. And I'd say it looks pretty good. And that should work. It's a little bit light on this side, but looks good. Now, I just need to let them cool and I can throw some paint on them. We can call this project done. So with that said, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you liked this video and you're not subscribed yet. Please comment with any suggestions below, and uh, sorry for the delay. I'm going to try to get back into this more and more frequently, and this is hopefully the start of that. And then also, one project that I've been wanting to do that I've needed welding gas for, 
is I got this really cool bank safe. Look at how thick this is. Three eighths of an inch doors, quarter inch plate all the way around. It's maybe two, 30, two feet, 30 inches or so. Uh, width ways, I guess we can call it. And maybe 40 to 48 inches this way. Uh, so this will make a great welding table uh, for the size that I need. I got really chunky casters that I'm gonna put on the bottom so I can roll it around. And I also have this ready to go. So this is two by two eighth inch uh, square tube. These are gonna make the legs. I'm also gonna put a shelf on the bottom so I can put my welder and my uh, plasma cutter on the bottom and have that just hooked up ready to go. And I think this is gonna be a very cool project. So stay tuned for that, that will be coming soon. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.